I am doing an unboxing video. I have purposefully kind of been neglecting opening my mail for like the past three weeks or so just so I could put together a whole lot of stuff and film another one of these videos for you guys because I know how much you like them. I feel like my lash is falling off so hopefully it's not. There is a makeup tutorial on this look. If you are interested to see what I use it's very simple but I love 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 it. It's just like a skin focus lip focus look. And as always there will be a giveaway so read the down bar if you want to know how you can enter to win. So the very first thing we have here is from Colourpop and this looks really really exciting. Inside, seriously this is like makeup porn to me. We have a whole lot of eyeliners. You guys know how much I love eyeliners. I feel like colourful eyeliners are just so fun and it's just a really easy way to switch up your makeup look. You can just pop it in your waterline or smudge it underneath your lash line and it's like instant Fun. I did try the yellow one in my yellow rainbow series look. I'll link that video down below if I remember, otherwise you can check it out on my channel. And it was, I think it's the same one anyway. It's not as like full on as I would like, but it is neon so I'm interested to see how some of the more like muted looks, I mean muted looks, <laughs> muted ones perform. Oh my god, yes. Do you guys remember when I used to use these all the time? I think they discontinued them, but they must have like brought them back. These are the cream gel eyeliners. Heck yes. I used to use these all the time, like three years ago. In like every single makeup tutorial, I swear I use like all sorts of different colors. They're very, very good just to like, once again, create really creative looks. And Colourpop is so affordable. So I'm so excited to experiment with these. This purple color looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. I need to do a purple look for my color series. Well, I suppose violet, but that's not really violet, but you know. Is violet more blue or more purple? It's more purple, right? But yeah, I'm doing all of the colors of the rainbow at the moment and then I think I'm gonna do some fill in So I'll do like pink, lavender, teal maybe, I don't know. We'll just see what's missing once I finish my series because I really want to do like just all sorts of colors. So these are gonna be very helpful for some more of my looks I'm doing. Next okay, so up we have something that was sent to my P.O. box. There is a letter, oh my gosh, I've actually opened quite a bit of my P.O. box mail lately, just like in private because I've had lots of like cards and letters. So many of you guys were really cute cards and letters once Hamish and I got engaged honestly you guys are the friggin sweetest this is another one it says to Hamish Shannon Zeus and Louie congrats on the engagement I like many other people are so excited for you guys my name is Carmel is that how I say it it's an R or V oh my gosh I hope I don't screw it up I've followed your journey on YouTube since you first started out at I think your dad's you were filming in your room yep <laughs> It's such a long time. Just wanted to send you a few wee gifts. One for you and Hamish and one hour for Louis and Zeus. I run my own wee business from home and we specialize in vinyl decals and cardstock. Oh, cute. Okay, let's pull it. So this one says for you and Hamish. Here's her business. If you guys want to go check it out, feel free to go have a look. You can pause and read that. Made to order an individually crafted locally in New Zealand. Oh my god. So talented. <laughs> so cute. Look at that. And it comes with a little like um, stand as well. That is so special. Wow. Thank you. Okay. But there's more. Oh, that's so cute, you guys. This one says for Louis and Zeus. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Look. Lily. Oh, that's so cool. And Zeus. Hamish is gonna be obsessed with these. That's so cool. Thank you. You guys never have to ever, 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 ever get me gifts. But that's so sweet. And yeah, make sure you guys check out her business. That's so lovely. I love me some personalized stuff, you guys know. Next up, we have the new Bondi Sands Aero 10. I've heard amazing things about this, so I'm actually looking forward to trying it. It's meant to be, I think, a real hydrating tan that's super, super dark. Self tan 2.0 has a has a right a little ah, ah. For the weightless ultra fast drying formula aerosol foam absorbs into the skin deeper and quicker i'm so gonna try this and it's supposed to have an amazing scent oh my god yes that's like that smells really good it doesn't smell like fake tan it smells like straight up coconut if you hate coconut you will not like it i'll definitely try it and see what i think i'm like so self-conscious like i've not once gotten lipstick on my teeth today but like while I'm filming, like I'm, I can't even freaking like see myself barely right now. Like it's really far away and I'm really, really, really nervous. I'm going to get lipstick on my teeth. All right, next up we have something from the Generalist PR. Oh, a new angel fragrance, I suppose. I am reusing all of the bubble wrap. Reduce, reuse and recycle at Exo Beauty. Okay, so this is the Angel Muggler 
Eau de Toilette, so French. My French is honestly just on point. What is this supposed to smell like? The freshness of a fruity cocktail in full summer. Mango, grapefruit, black currant sorbet, um, and then patchouli praline. That sounds kind of amazing. I can smell it already. The bowl, bowl? Why? What? Yeah, that is, f I was gonna swear just then. That is so good. It smells like fruit mixed with sexiness. Like it doesn't smell like sweet fruit, if you know what I mean. Like it's definitely more of like a deep, sensual smell. Mmm, it's good. Definitely go sn sniff it. <laughs> go sniff it. Definitely go sniff it wherever you can find it. I guess like farmers? I always just assume that you can find fragrances at farmers. Let me see. Yeah, farmers, life pharmacy, Smith and Coe's, and David Jones in Wellington. Go check it out. Oh, that's really nice. If you don't like anything too sickly sweet, like candy, but you still want something slightly sweet-ish, but sexy, this is such a good nighttime perfume. Mm. Honestly, I don't know why, but there's literally like 50 Tarte packages today. I don't know what's happening. Like, I've never received this much friggin' PR from Tarte. They always send a lot, but like, I've sent so much PR lately. So in here, this says Ego. This is all about, okay, Ego Girls. Inspired by our new confidence boosting mascara, our campaign to empower young girls to grow into future leaders. Oh, cute. Calling all future girl leaders, Big Ego Girls Leadership Summit. Is this, am I too late for this? You can go here and apply. Just go check out that link anyways. I don't know, like, like I said, this mail is like three or four weeks old. And inside we have the Big Ego Lashes Mascara. That packaging is so cool. Let me know if you want to see a full face first impression. Actually, you know what? I'm going to film it. I'll film a full face first impression of all of these products from today. And maybe some from my last PR. I feel like there's not as many packages as my last one. I've still got heaps of new stuff to try from my last PR haul. So I'm going to um, yeah, pop some stuff aside and I'll do another full face first impression for my next video that you guys will see. But this is supposed to give you lashes that look extra. This picture does look very impressive. So I've got very high hopes for it. It's vegan. It's plant powered. And it has a booster brush for double fiber... I don't know what is wrong with me. I can't actually read anymore. I need to go back to school. Next up we have something from Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Jenner setting spray. Ooh, that'll be fun to try in my next video. Oh my god, cute. Look at the packaging. I love pink. I think it's really cute. And it's got shiny Kylie writing on it. I'll be trying that next. That is all that's in this giant box. <laughs> There's another, this huge box behind me is another, God, that was so heavy. Oh, I underestimated that. Another massive tar box. This says found a sealer. Looks like this on the inside. So in here we have three full size products and a whole lot of samples as well. It says it's a foundation and concealer in one. So I guess we'll try this in my next video. Unless a different foundation turns up, but I really want to try this. Oh my God, it just, Bitch slapped me across the face. I've never heard anyone talking about this. Is this super new or am I living under a rock? It says you can use it on your fingertips for sheer coverage, a sponge for medium coverage, or use the brush for medium to full coverage. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's real cute. It's got a little, oh, look, it's a twisty pump. And it's one of those um, packaging that sucks up every little tiny inch of foundation, which I love. I love packaging like this because, you know, like a normal pump, you can't get it all out. Whereas these ones, like, rise. It, like, pushes the product up to the top. Such good packaging. So, yeah, I got all of those. Um, I'll give that a go. Concealer and foundation all in one. Customizable. We'll see. Another Tarte package. This one I'm very excited for. This is the Adeline Morin collab. I did a collab with her too. I'll link our video down below if you want to go watch it. She is so lovely. The last time I saw her would have been in Manchester when we went over with Lush and she's just like a ray of sunshine. So I'm very excited for this collab. Oh my god, there's a yellow scrunchie in here. I'm all about that life. All sorts of stuff in here. Yellow of course. What are these? Is this like Oh, it's sour. I think it's a lolly. This is how the actual packaging looks on the outside. It's so cute. I love it. I love the metallic. I love the lemons. It's adorable. And then on the inside, I've not actually seen this in person yet, of course. Oh my god, cute. Even the plastic has little lemons all over it. 
or are they oranges? I'm assuming it's lemons. This is how the packaging, I mean the inside looks, obviously. There's a highlighter and a blush, and then you have six, no, oh my god, I can't count now either. Nine eyeshadow colors. Oh my gosh, this looks so nice. And Tarte eyeshadow palettes, like sometimes I think they're amazing, sometimes I think they're so boring. These colors look cute though. They're very wearable, but you can still create something a little bit more dramatic and fun. Because there's this like a really deep terracotta orange, you've got a mustard yellow, you've got some deep burgundies, you've got your neutrals just for like a classic everyday look and this amazing like copper as well this looks so pretty and i love the packaging like i would love to see more palettes like this from tarte i'll be using this soon here's like what the swatches look like on the models as well what is in here we have the it's my ray ray palette yes i actually asked bh to hook me up with this because I seem to have been forgotten off of their PR list. So I was like, hey, am I on their PR list? Because I didn't get sent the Ray Ray palette and I want to try it. <laughs> oh my God, Shannon, just go buy it with your own money. Okay, I was about to, but I was already talking to BH because Matt's on my email. So I just like shot my shot. Shoot, shoot my shot. You know what I mean? So here is the 15 color shadow palette. So pretty. It reminds me of like ColourPop packaging, which I love. Looks like this. Such amazing colors. And then there's also the nine piece brush set, which because I'm so freaking nice, I will put in the giveaway for you guys. See, it was worth asking for it because now one of you guys get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so annoying. Next up we have the Daisy collection as well. So in here, oh my God, this palette is so cool. It's got a little like detachable mirror. So you can like set up a little vanity. How amazing is that? That is so freaking innovative and perfect for travel as well. Like that makes me want to take this traveling. Look at this, like it comes out and you slip it in. Oh wait, I'm going a plastic film on it. Like how smart is that? Why did I not think of that? Please tell me. And the colors are super cute. They're not really colors I would use on an everyday basis or if I was traveling. Like I would like more neutral palettes, but I do love how different this is because we've all got neutral palettes already. So it's still so amazing. Like if you're looking for a really versatile, colorful palette, this is where you want to look. You do have some neutrals, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like I. I'm basic like most of the time if I'm traveling I just take like a simple neutral palette but you've got like dark deep burgundies once again you've got like a couple bright shades you've got some shimmery like fun purples and teals like all sorts of stuff and then the lid just sits back on like this that's just genius I'm sorry I just props <laughs> the color festival collection Ooh, yes so any here Oh my god, look how cute that makeup is. I love that green makeup. Oh my god. We have another brush set, which I will give to one of you guys, because let's be honest, I already have my brush situation sorted. But these are real cool. They're like acid neon green. Like, how amazing is that? And then the actual palette is like this. Color Festival. And these are the colors. See this palette? Like, it's got colorful stuff and some more, like, neutrals. Like, this set of four right here is perfect just for, like, day to day. You've got some darker neutrals over here, but then you've got these, like, amazing candy shades. Like, do one more. Let's do the pop color. Look at that, like pastel, purpley. Oh my gosh, this would actually be pretty good for all of my EDC outfits. I did my recent EDC outfit try on like lookbook video. I'll link it below, and I feel like these colors would look really nice with the outfits I've chosen. So that is super cute as well. Oh my gosh, I love BH Cosmetics. Duh. Like you can't get my palette anymore, but I freaking love them. Next up, we have something here from Glam Raider, which. By the way, if you were looking for my lashes in Australia, you can order them off Glam Reader. In here we have some new stuff. Ooh, I've got some stuff from Coloured Rain here, which I actually like this brand, but I used to find it quite hard to get a hold of. I haven't heard a lot about this brand in ages, but hey, Glam Raider has it. So these are some liquid lipsticks, I think. You can actually see the colors through the box, which is clever. Wait, this one you can. Why can't you on this one? I'm so confused. I'm wearing white jeans right now and let me tell you, it is not a wise decision while I'm playing with makeup. The actual box has like a pretty good representation of the actual color though. So they're just like super vibrant liquid lipsticks. This one's pretty. This is called Mars. It's a matte lip paint. I really like the color. And then we have a palette of some kind in here. This is the Safari Rain palette. It's so pretty. Look at that. I love, love, love the shades. You've got like greeny khakis, some peaches, and some like cool tones down the very bottom. That is so nice. I like don't know if I should keep it or gift it to one of you guys because I'm like obsessed with the colors, but I don't know how often I'll use it. It needs to be loved. And we also have the Queen of Hearts, which... 
<gasps> that's so pretty oh my gosh i already have so many colors like this but how stunning are they that is absolutely beautiful that royal highness color ugh, ugh. that royal highness color looks so nice oh my goodness and then the last one that we have here is the beauty rust and it's just a little six palette oh my god i've never really seen a palette of like this size this is just neutrals with a shimmery kind of coppery bronzy shade in the middle next up we have something here from origins what the heck is this sleep it's like a gift card they've sent me origins have sent me sleep at the push of a button download on the app store that's kind of cool and then in here they've also sent some retinol stuff um so it says finishly finishly oh my god shannon visibly diminish lines pores and uneven skin tone see the skin of your dreams meet the new plant description retinol night moisturizer packed with pure high-grade retinol and nature age erases our powerhouse overnight moisturizer visibly diminishes lines pores and uneven skin tone that sounds good to me i'm currently using the drunk elephant retinol which i really really like so i'll probably try this once i've run out i've still got so much of it less left because you use such a small amount literally like a pea size and i mean that usually if i read on packaging oh, i'll take a pea size amount or like a queen amount i'm just like nah i just use like eight times as much as i'm supposed to because that's just who i am you guys know me but like retinol you really do need such a small amount so this little package would last you so freaking long. You get 30 mil in here. It's going to last forever. And then they also sent me their power serum. So I'm going to save these and try these at some stage. And I'll update you guys on what I think of them compared to the drunk elephant one. And they also sent... What are these? Are they air plugs? That's kind of scary. So what these are, like, please tell me. Are these air plugs? Because that's strange. Is that not strange? I don't know. Yeah, it says the sleepy cottage. That's kind of weird. I mean, cool idea, but I'm just imagining how that's going to look. Is that weird? Is it weird? Is it just me? I don't know. More from Kylie Jenner. In here we have the... What is this? Oh, is this the loose powder? Setting powder. So there is a soft pink shade. There's six altogether. Translucent. Beige, which looks like a pretty good color for me. Um, Like now, or maybe that would be a little bit too dark. Then we have dark deep dark and finally we have yellow which looks like a really nice soft kind of yellow because usually um yellow powders are like too vibrant for me almost they're better for like deeper and darker skin tones this one looks pretty good i might try it and then we also have some lip glosses in here the high glosses this one here is in the shade my moon and stars it's so pretty I'm not the hugest fan of the formula that's all so i'll probably give these all to you guys there's a whole bunch of them Next up, we have some stuff from Sugar Rush, which I think is Tarte. And here, we have this cute little bag, which you could totally use for stuff, like shopping, groceries, whatever. And this adorable makeup bag on the inside, which is iridescent. And on the inside, we have the Tarte Light Camera Lashes, except it's in a yellow packaging. It's so cute. I love, 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 love it. My friend Michaela is so funny. She was like, when we go to America, because we're going in a couple weeks, while you're watching this, I'm probably like there or something. She's like, when we're in the States, I'm buying like 80 lights camera lashes. It's her favorite. And then we have Vacay Day Fragrance Rollable Perfume. <gasps> Perfume. It smells quite powdery. Not my favorite kind of scent, but it's pretty good. It smells like clean linen or something. We also have this Keep Calm Sunnies On palette, which looks like this. I'll give that to one of you guys. The colors aren't really unique enough for me to justify keeping it. Like this is kind of more what I think of with Tarte, like very simple neutrals. Pretty nonetheless, but I just don't need any more. Like I've got so many of them. And then we also have this But First Hydrate Cake Butter. What? It's a moisturizer and body butter. So cute. This is what the packaging looks like. More tart. <laughs> we have some mac and cheese. Do any of you guys actually think that this type of mac and cheese low-key tastes better than homemade mac and cheese? Or is that just a really unpopular opinion? Like it literally tastes like plastic, but I secretly love it. But I can't eat this, so I'm gonna put it in my giveaway for you guys. Lol. And then we have some Tarte eyeliners. It is the season of eyeliners. I will totally try them. I love the Tarte Fake Away. That's one of my favorites at the moment. So I'm looking forward to trying some of these. We've got like blue, black, a couple of browns, a couple more like brownie colors. And a really bright yellow as well, which is super cute. That could be fun to try with the Adeline Maroon palette. And then we have the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea High Tides and Good Vibes collection, which is such a cute name, let's be honest. Inside, the actual palette itself is so cute. Look at this. It actually like has packaging that like moves around. Can you see that? It's so cool. 
Um, this palette is the High Tides and Good Vibes, and this is what it looks like on the inside. At first, when I saw this online, I was like, that's kind of ugly, but in person, it's so much prettier. And I don't love blue eyeshadow. I used to only ever wear navy blue smoky eyes. I should really do a um, tutorial using this because some of those colors are so pretty. Like in particular these glitters. I'm loving glitters and palettes at the moment. Look at that. That was such a small touch. I'm gonna do the blue. Look at this. <gasps> I'm shook. So cute too. They give back and they help with conservation of like you know the ocean and its creatures and everything with this collection. There's a lip balm as well, a lipstick and a lip gloss. Yes H2O lip gloss. The Gloss isn't really my cup of tea. The balm's cute. Look at that. It's like a tinted lip balm. It's really, really, really nice. I love stuff like this just for like every day. And the lipstick has a turtle on the top. Oh, stop. And it's such a nice color. Oh my gosh. I literally did not think that I would love all this stuff as much as I do. Oh my god. I love that color so much. Next up, I have something from Hair Plus. Right here. Hi Shannon, introducing you to the new Redken Gradient. Perfect for blonde, silver and grey hair. The shampoo is a bright purple toning system and the conditioner is a neutralizer for any remaining purple tones. Hmm. I really like Redken, so this is the silver conditioner. I'm pretty like, oh, it's blue. I'm pretty dedicated to my fudge. I'm not gonna lie, but I would be interested to see how this compares. That's if my mum doesn't steal it off me first, because every single time I get sent purple shampoo that's like, you know, something that's not fudge, because I'm always using fudge, um, my mum always finds it, and she's like, can I have it? <laughs> and I just got purple shampoo on my white jeans, so that's how my day is basically going. And I also got sent this package from Natasha Denona. In here we have the Bieber palette, which I have seen on Instagram, so I'm very excited, and I love Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. Like, you guys know they're so expensive, but I love them. I've got a problem. This is so pretty. I swear every time she releases a neutral palette, I'm like, oh, neutrals, I don't need it. And then I see it in real life, and they are so pretty every single time, and I don't know how she does it, because most neutral palettes all look the same. Whereas she has so many different neutral palettes, and they're all so different. Like, she's a master with color. Like, she's a master at putting together palettes. Look at that. These are so stunning. They're warm, but they're not orange. They're not red. Like, they're just so wearable and beautiful. So I'll definitely be keeping this. Let me know if you do want a tutorial or if you do not give a shit. Because it's just a neutral palette. I don't know. We have something else from Sugar Rash slash Tarte slash I don't know. Um, in here, we have a whole lot of goodies. We've got some Lights Camera Lashes. We've got some curling... What are they called? Eyelash curlies. We've got some lip gloss brow stuff which is in the shade black brown so that's definitely not my color oh wait there's two and there's a medium brown and a liquid lipstick but i'm gonna put that in the giveaway for you guys and even if it doesn't match you maybe you can gift it to one of your best friends we also have another little palette in here wait i think i already got this i'm sure i showed this in my previous unboxing video is this the little watermelon palette yeah it is I showed that in my previous video, so that can go to one of you guys as well. By the way, I love it when you guys tag me when your packages arrive. It's so sweet. So if you do want one of my giveaways, feel free to like tweet me when it arrives so I know it arrives safely. We also have something here from Revlon, and inside it is Candid? What is this? New Candid Natural Finish Foundation. I'm definitely gonna try this. Um, it's got antioxidants, anti pollutants, anti blue light ingredients, whatever that means. And it says it's got no parabens, oil, synthetic dyes, or fragrances. So, yeah, I'll try that as well in a video. I don't know if I'll try this or the Tarte in my next video, but I guess you'll find out because I'll probably film that before you guys even see this video. In here, I have. Lily lashes. Opulence are my favorite. So there's just literally tons of opulence lashes. They are so pretty. They're just really long and natural, but like so long. If you don't like long lashes, you'll hate them, but I love them. And also there is brush on lash adhesive as well. I'm going to give one pair to you guys and the lash adhesive. Something you have from Huda Beauty. Oh, it's the new nymph stuff. Okay. Not your mama's pantyhose. So this is a all over body highlighter. It's got intense shine. It's blurring. It's water resistant and transfer resistant. I'm definitely going to try this because I love products like this. I usually use my loving tan one. Inside it opens up like this. Oh my God. Anticlimatic. Oh, it's really heavy. I tried to be fancy and do like a slow-mo, but it just didn't work out. So you get three shades here. 
Aurora, Aphrodite, and Luna. I'll try them out. I'll report back. I'll let you guys know what I think. What is my hair doing? Can you not? The packaging is beautiful. I was going to say I'd take it to EDC, but the packaging, it's not super heavy, but I mean, it's not super light either. You get 55 mil in here. I, don't know, I love the way the packaging looks though. It looks very, very pretty. And there's also a brush under here too. I purchased some stuff off Beauty Bliss, which is another stockist of Expo Beauty. Make sure you check them out. They've got stores in Auckland and Wellington, or you can check them out online, beautybliss.co.nz, I think. Yes, beautybliss.co.nz. I bought a couple of the Jeffree Star Magic Start concealers, so I can try them. I'll try them in my next video. I'll let you guys know what I think. I haven't tried any Jeffree Star makeup in a while because I have not really loved the look of the last eyeshadow palette, the blue one. So yeah, I couldn't get my hands on the powder either. It was sold out. So I'll try that at least, and if I like it, I'll keep trying, like, some of the other products. 99% sure Jeffree Star hates my gut, so don't worry, it's gonna be very unbiased. Hi Shani, so got any fun trips coming up? Be sure to stow away these adorable travel size bestsellers. You couldn't ask for a better travel companion. Bon voyage, the bomb. Perfect timing, because obviously I am going away very soon. So in here, look how cute it is. Oh, there's two, okay. One of them is going straight to you guys. We have a mini Mad Lash. We've got a Hot Mama. We've got Bahama Mama, bronzer and blush, you know. We've got a mini Mary Lou, which I love. I haven't used that in years. Oh my gosh, I should do, you know, using my old favorite makeup products again. I did do one of those a while ago. I'll try to remember to link it below. But that was like using my OG favorites and doing my makeup like I used to when I first started YouTube. Yeah, check the down bar for the link. But um, I should do another one using like my old Holy Grail products. Anyway, and then a face primer as well. Then we have another box here from Lily Lashes. This is so cute. So inside, we have the Birthday Bitch Lash Kit. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. These look stunning. These are so dramatic. Okay, the very top ones are kind of like my normal go-to kind of faux mink lashes that I would go for. Kind of similar to Fantasy. They're more crisscrossy though. The middle ones are super, super full and dramatic. And then the last ones are like full and long. But I will definitely give them a go. They terrify me. Like, I don't think I've ever worn lashes this big. In my entire life. They're even bigger than Exotic Base for Beauty and you know how like huge those are. We've got three more packages guys so we have another one from Tarte which I'm pretty sure looks like the same as the last package. It does. So I'll give that to you guys. I have no idea what this is. There's no note at all. It's from Mimi Box Corporation. Okay so this is the I Do Care the ice cream collection. All the little spoons just went flying. Sweet and new skincare. So, oh my gosh, cute. It's got like nutrition information on the bag as if it was like food. But it says skin nourishing sprinkles, hydrating hyaluronic acid, soft surf texture. And it's got like basically what each one does. So cake my day, berry, groovy and matcha mood. Um, so they all do different things. And oh, they are so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm so going to try these on my vlog channel for you guys. Look how adorable. Oh my gosh. So make sure you stay tuned to my vlog channel. If you guys don't know, I do do daily vlogs, not every day. But I do like day in the life vlogs over on Shanexo Vlogs. You can search it on YouTube. And I always try like skincare and show my food and what I'm doing. And honestly, like half the time I think they're so boring. But you guys seem to love them. So that's all that matters. <laughs> they're so cute. So <laughs> thank you. And then the final package is from Lit Cosmetics. You can use the code Shanexo to get a discount. Um, the discount is underneath my shopping links in my down bar as well. Like you guys know, they're one of my favorite glitter brands of all time. They sent me a note that says, okay, Shannon, you have a lot of glitter. Saw your cleanup. They saw my declutter video where I organized all my glitter. But then again, a lot is never enough. Okay, I hope this is cool with you that I sent you our new glitter camo. I know you'll love it. Sparkle in the sun this summer, sister. I also gave you some sample sizes for travel or for your purse from Jody. Thank you so much. So the new camo glitters, I don't really understand what they are. Let's have a look. Of course, I'll be packing a whole lot of glitter to go over to EDC soon. Well, like I said, by the time you're watching this, probably right now. Is it like a... <gasps> okay, this is perfect for festivals. So this is a all-over sparkle spread. It comes with a little spoon. Oof, and the packaging is amazing. Look at this. You can't see it in camera. I'm gonna... Oh my god, it smells good too. This one is called Sergeant Sparkle. Oh my god, it's kind of like a pink and silver blend with a little bit of lilac, green, and gold. Look at this. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Of course, you would like probably blend it out more. I'm just gonna like rub it into my hand. I'm going to the gym later. This is gonna be hilarious because I'm gonna have glitter everywhere. That is so cool. Okay, I am... Covered in glitter. This has some friggin' long wear. I just scrubbed my hand with a towel 
and it has not really come off. But that's good. That shows me it's going to be long lasting for a festival. And then like the minis, oh my god, I can take these to EDC. This is so perfect. So the other two colours we have are Major Gold, which as you can imagine is a beautiful gold colour. I'll probably wear this one. Oh my god, I can't get the friggin' cap off. It's like suction down. There we go. <laughs> Did you hear that? I wish you could hear that. It was like, like that. This is like super chunky gold. Oh my god. I want to put it all over myself, but I won't because otherwise I'm never going to get it off. And I'm already looking very festively for literally working out. It's not ideal. And then the last one is called Commander and Glitter. This one's like the most crazy one. This is like unicorn tears. Look at this. It's like blue, iridescent, purple, silver amazingness. I'm going to show my friends these two. We're going to do like a little fashion show this weekend. <laughs> do you guys remember when you were like a kid and your mum would take you shopping and come home and you'd like show your dad all your outfits like you go get changed you're like this is my first outfit and you'd like walk around like and I also got this and you put on your next outfit and your dad just sat there on the couch like I don't really care but yeah that's awesome. Love it. Basically we're doing that except we're going to try on all of our EDC outfits. Um, So when they come over I'll definitely get them to like look through all my glitter and stuff as well so we know what to like pack because we're wearing different colors and everything this would look so cool if you had like a silver outfit or a colorful outfit a rainbow outfit like anything i reckon i'll probably either wear this one like the more pinky one or the golden one and then there's also the mini i'll probably just take a mini i feel like that went real far so that should be enough anyway so thank you so much lit for that gift I just got some new mail. Someone's knocking. I feel so bad. That was a man. He like just turned up. He's like, this is a really weird question. But he had his iPod, I mean his iPad out. And he's like, I've lost my cell phone. It says it's right in this area. And he like head up like, you know, where we live. And I was like, oh. I was like, I'm sorry. I haven't seen it. I feel so bad. He's like, I've been next door and they haven't seen it either. I hope he finds it. That's so weird though. It's like showing up to be pretty much like next door to my house. So that's a bit weird. But anyway, that's all of the mail. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget the rogue hair is like do you ever get one like on your eye thank you don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want to enter the giveaway thumbs up subscribe go check out my vlog channel as well like i said it's always linked down below shanixo vlogs very simple i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye